Welcome back guys and today we got new update for a nice huge legacy miner so miner for AMD cards and you can also use them on Nvidia but AMD cards are preferred so to download this miner you have to go to miner.nicehash.com and click over here and then go to nicehash miner legacy as you can see that this newest version is version uh, 1903 and if you click see details you can see what's new so the most important things are that they added Lira Z algorithm for Nvidia cards and Lira Z also for CPU mining and CPU mining also got CryptoNet heavy algorithm. So the same things that happened with 2024 version of normal NiceHash miner. So if you open NiceHash miner version 1903 if, and if you go over here on benchmark you can see the hash rates of all algorithms. So let's just go to our Ryzen 7 1700 and let's compare that with uh, version 2 hash rates that we get. So click over here on hardware details, enable CPU, click on CPU. So on version 2 we can see that we only have Kryptonite V7 and Kryptonite Heavy, but over here we have uh, Kryptonite V7 with XMR stack, XMR rig and Kryptonite Heavy also with XMR stack and Lira 2 Z algorithm. So the most we get on Kryptonite V7 is 277 kilo hashes, but on version uh, on legacy version we get 313 kilo hashes and 304 kilo hashes. So it is about 10% better on legacy version. So if you are doing a lot of CPU mining, legacy version is recommended. On Kryptonite Heavy we got we get 125 kilo hashes, and over here we get 162 kilo hashes. So about 20% better on legacy. And Lira 2Z algorithm gets 0.767 mega hashes per second, which is equal to 6,000 satoshis per day on Ryzen 7 1700. So this is the most profitable thing to mine right now, and it is really awesome to see that, even though they, this is not added on NiceHash Miner version 2. So for CPU mining, Lira 2Z is highly recommended because it is the most profitable, and you can see that it is about 10 to 12 percent more profitable than Crypto V7 mining, which is the most profitable thing on version 2. And if you go to our GPU GTX 180 Ti and compare this to uh, GPU results on legacy version, you can see that Ketsak gets 1.4 GHz hashes compared to 1.25 and 1.76. Neoscript gets 1.75 compared to 1.428, so Neoscript and Ketsak are both uh, more than 10% uh, better on the version 2 miner. Uh, Lira 2 revision 2 gets 68 on Legacy, and on version 2 it gets 70.19, so also better on version 2. And the only thing that has some kind of real improvement is Dagger Hashimoto, which has 31.68 on Legacy compared to 31.28 on version 2. So about 2 to 3% better on the Legacy. Uh, the other things mostly don't matter because you're never going to mine Decred, you're never going to mine Libre, Pascal, Sia, Blake 2S. The only thing that still matters over here is Equihash, which gets 683 kilo hashes over here on version 2, and over here on Legacy gets 681 and 692, so 1-2% better on Legacy version. And Kryptonite V7 gets a 736 compared to 765, so about 3-4% to 4 better on legacy also. Lira 2Z gets 3.12 on legacy compared to exactly 3 on version 2, so 3% better on legacy. But if you take a look at the most profitable things which are you mostly going to mine, which are Lira 2 Revision 2 and new script, and since you mine those both things more than 90% of the time, which is about 10% of the time that you are going to mine Equihash on Nvidia cards, uh, version 2 is highly recommended because things that matter are more profitable on version 2 than on legacy. And this is mostly because NiceH has extremely good uh, miner for new script. You can see 1.75 compared to 1.42, which is about 20% difference. And not even one miner that I have found works better on new script than the uh, excavator miner, which NiceH has. So, there is still no need to change uh, from version 2024 to something else because this version works without any problems and there is really no need uh, to change it unless you are doing only CPU mining if you don't have GPU and, and you just want to do some mining with CPU then you can uh, change it to mine Lira 2Z on the legacy version and of course if you are using KMD cards and the only thing you are mining is Daga Hashimoto then uh, if you want about 2-3% better results then you can 
can also switch to legacy, but for everything else that is not CPU mining or exclusively Dagger Hashimoto, the version 2 is still better. So thank you guys for watching this video, let me know what you think about this new version 1903 of a legacy miner and see you soon in another video. Bye!